In today's video tech tip, I will show you how to create a viewport. When a project is complete, it will usually be necessary to be able to present the client with various views of a drawing with details and annotations. This can be easily done by using viewports. To create a viewport, go to View, Create Viewport. In the Create Viewport dialog box, you have a few options. Firstly, you can set the name and drawing title as desired for the viewport. For this example, I'm going to leave them at defaults. I'm then going to click on the Sheet Layer drop-down and select New Sheet Layer. In the Edit Sheet Layers dialog, I'm going to again leave the names at default and check Edit Properties after creation and then click OK. In the next window, take note that you can adjust the DPI for the sheet, which defaults at 72. You also have the ability to click on Page Setup to set a specific paper size for the sheet. These settings are specific to this sheet layer and will not affect any other sheet layers created or the design layers. Each sheet can have a different setup. Once I'm done, I will click OK. The next few settings will affect how the document will be displayed on the sheet layer. From here, you have the option of changing the layers or classes visibilities, along with the scale and render options. If none of these options are changed, the viewport will automatically be created with the current view and settings used on the design layer. Click OK when set. Here we have our finished viewport. This concludes our video tech tip. For more tech tips and how-tos, please visit kbase.vectorworks.net. Thank you for joining us, and have a great day.